Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Caroline Dubois at here at the Calista Shields Savannah Marshall Press Conference. But before I get to them, you've got your own fight date announced. How excited are you to be fighting in Bournemouth? Very excited. You know, I'm on the undercard of my own stable mate, uh, Chris, and I know he's going to put on a show. And it's just going to be good to be fighting together. It's going to be good. I didn't know that. So you're going to be fighting on this undercard as well? I'll, I'll look at you. I'm excited, man. This is crazy. I've got a big card with it in Bournemouth. I've got a big card here. It's crazy. I'm blessed and I'm just soaking it all in. I can see that. I just saw you greeting Calusa Shields. So the obvious question is going to be, what side are you? Are you with your fellow Brit or Clarissa? Oh, don't put it like that, man. You know, um, so Savannah Marsh is a great fighter. No disrespect. She's amazing. What she's done, this fight, she's she's built it, you know, with her KO power, with her uh, explosiveness in the ring. She's built this fight for everybody, you know, men, female, everyone's going to enjoy this fight because of her and Clarissa Shields. Um, I'm going to back Clarissa Shields because, you know, I just believe that she's so confident, she's so skillful, and I feel confidence is what's going to speak in this fight. She has to believe in herself, stick to the game plan, you know, fuck the crowd, fuck everything, just focus, zone in, and just go out there and do the business. You know, just for people who may not know, you know how far does your friendship with Clarissa go? Because obviously you've known each other for a while, haven't you? Um, you know, I've been following her since I was a little kid, uh, when I was 16. 15 and I was going to tournaments I was feeling insecure about myself and watching her she just helped bring me on you know as a person and I've been watching her for a very long time 2012 when she showed up and she showed out in the Olympics her, her documentary really just uh, it resonated with me and I just love to watch her you know I'm inspired by her definitely so do you think this fight goes the distance to, or or does it get stopped at some point I think it goes the distance it's gonna be another Amanda Soren or Kay Taylor it's gonna be fireworks I think both fighters have the potential to get hurt in this fight definitely and I won't be surprised if they both do they just gonna have to grip through it and get through it like the Kay Taylor Amanda Soren I think it's gonna be very similar fireworks every round it's gonna be good though Obviously, you as an elite amateur, so I'm guessing you're not going to mess around in, in the pros that long. You're going to have your learning fights. Obviously, you must have seen Lauren Price here the, the other week and then Chris as well. You guys are going to clash at some point, aren't you? Who? Well, Chris or Lauren, I don't know which, so, which one's closer to your weight. Whatever, man. I'm ready for anybody and I would love to fight everyone. I feel like to be the best in boxing, you have to compete against the best. I respect all these girls, you know, people from GB, people from whoever, you know. I'll love to, I'll be honored to get in the ring with all these fighters, you know. I believe that I'm on my way to being the best and the only way I can do that is if I fight the best. You know, I have so much respect for these girls and, I, and to put it out in the ring and bring crowds like this, bring an atmosphere like this, put a venue, put a, on a great show like this would be amazing, I'll be blessed. And how's it been with your uh, brother bringing back that belt? And have you guys still celebrating? Obviously, you got a champion in the house now. Oh, for sure, man. It's, it's been amazing. You know, he's he's been on cloud now, and he's just been soaking it in, you know. He's believed in himself. He knew he could beat Trevor Barrett. There was no denying that. He knew he's better than him. He knew that he, he has the potential to be a world champion. So when he won, it was not really much of a shock. It was, it was something that was expected. Everyone, everyone's talking about a potential rematch with Joyce. You must have seen uh, Joe's performance at the weekend. But if it happens, what happens to Bois Joyce too? Um, you know, Daniel's improved a lot. Uh, yeah, he's improved a lot from uh, the last fight and he's coming on every time, you know. He's only a kid, like he's, he's 24, you know, he's a baby in the game. And heavyweights, they mature at a later age compared to other athletes and other weights. They mature later. And so he's going to get that stronger, he's going to get bigger, he's going to get better, faster. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm rocking with my brother all the way. Caroline, thank you so much for your time. Anything else you want to add before I let you go? Huh? Anything else you want to add before I let you go? No, for sure. You know, I hope everybody's going to enjoy this fight. It's going to be crazy. Uh, hopefully everyone tunes in and supports and supports me on my journey as well. Thank you so much and good luck with your career as well. Thank you. I appreciate it.